Governor Doug Ducey was in Tucson today delivering his local State of the State address. After that address, the governor sat down exclusively with News 4 Tucson's Danelle Confer for a one-on-one -on -one interview you'll see only on 4. Governor Ducey, thank you so much for sitting and taking the time to talk with me this afternoon. Hey, uh, happy to be here. Yeah, so I want to get right to the questions that I have for you. You know, during your past seven years as governor, what do you believe largely has helped grow our economy? I was a business person and I ran on having built a business and I said I wanted to shrink a government and grow an economy. So I didn't want to see companies leapfrogging over Arizona and keep going to places like Texas. So we had those discussions. We won many of those competitive environments. That's what you see with Lucid Motors here in southern Arizona, Too Simple, Caterpillar, and then our existing small businesses. I knew if our economy could thrive if we'd continue to grow as a state that would benefit them as well. And with attracting big businesses there is also a fiscal responsibility to help those lower income families, the middle class families. Talk about some of the policies you have set in place or at least plan to this next year to really help those people. So caring for those in need has always been a top priority of our administration and of myself personally. It's part of the reason that we made the tough decisions we made in 2015 to tighten our belt and to balance our budget, to make sure that we would have a strong social safety net when we needed it. Now I believe that the best social program is a job and a job that can be turned into a career. But when someone needs help, we had unemployment benefits that were available. We were able to distribute what people needed when we went through our situation in the pandemic. But right now, I mean, our economy is booming. In your meeting with Arizona sheriffs on Tuesday, there were three Arizona border sheriffs that were not in attendance, I couldn't help but notice. Hathaway, Wilmont, and Nanos. Um, were they not invited? And if they weren't, why did you feel that their input wasn't needed? Well, every sheriff was invited, and I, I want all of their input. Our sheriffs are very busy individuals. I would actually say to you, our border sheriffs even more so because now they not only have their job as sheriff, they're doing Secretary Mayorkas's job as, as well. The Treasury Department is now warning the state to remove the ban on mask mandates in the next 60 days or they'll work to recover COVID-19 relief funds that were sent to two state programs helping students and schools. What's your response to them and uh, what do you plan to do if that money does go somewhere else? My message to the Biden administration is number one, we'll see you in court. Number two, fix the border. I couldn't help but listen to your speech and really think that you were laying the groundwork for a presidential bid. What's next? Well, the agenda that you just heard is 100% focused on the state of Arizona and making it a better place to live, raise a family, or build a business. I've got 353 days left. I'm focused on working hard every day as, as governor and running through the tape. I'll, I'll have served eight years at the completion of this. I've loved every day of it. It's a great job. Not the COVID part of it. The COVID part was, was terrible for, for everyone. And we set the right priorities during that time. But the job of being governor, of being able to set the vision, chart the course, work with the people, uh, I've enjoyed that very much. I believe in term limits and two terms is, is plenty. But what happens beyond then will happen beyond then. I'm gonna continue to focus on Arizona. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank governor. you too.